spent his time doing biomedical research uh, that has the potential to help millions around the world. Since he was a big Super Metroid fan and continued to serve others until the very end, put this all towards saving the animals. And we've got Lumpy208 with a $10 donation and a crazy suggestion for an awful games game title. Lagoon, colon, Lester the Low G Man and Bullwinkle versus Shinobi the King of Kings. Greetings from Germany. Stay tuned for more Awful Games Done Quick block, folks. We've got White Hat coming up with Hudson Hawk. Get through a couple more donations here while I have a moment. We've got $5 from God66. This game does not adhere to the rules of perspective. If anything, it has invented a new way to perceive space time. Has Indiana Jones found the fourth dimension? <laughs> we have $20 from uh, Brent Annabel. Hi, HDQ. I'm donating this during this game because from the player and couch commentary, it sounds like the only thing worse than this game is my crappy internet connection down here on the other side of the world. Keep up the good work and the morale. Greetings from Australia and kill the animals. All right, so All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. So this is Hudson Hawk for the NES. And I just got some bad RNG right there. <clears throat> These birds take four hits to kill. They are the most powerful enemy in the game. No other enemy takes four hits to kill. All right, I just did a, a frame perfect glitch there uh, called the double jump glitch. If you jump the frame before you go into a punching animation, uh, he gains a little bit of uh, extra height and then goes into his falling animation and allows you to reach <clears throat> platforms that you're uh, normally not supposed to, supposed to reach. All right, so we're running through punching guys that are in our way. There was a photographer back there, and there was a janitor. Uh, this is based on the hit Bruce Willis movie, Hudson Hawk, that I have not seen. So I'm assuming everything that I'm seeing here... It's exa exactly like the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I first saw this game, I was wondering why there was a black kid in sunglasses throwing baseballs. And then found out later it's Bruce Willis. Looks exactly like Bruce Willis. <laughs> All right, so I take a small... Uh, Death warp, death abuse right there to bring me back to this ladder. Saves uh, a couple of seconds. 
Everything you see here, all this steam and electricity, uh, it all kills you in one hit. This game is really hard to control, by the way. I, I practiced it in the uh, practice room, and uh, it's not very fun. <laughs> yeah, he's got a certain... Uh, you have to build up, like, full momentum to make a lot of jumps. Uh, I played it safe there. And he's throwing baseballs or softballs. I don't know if that was a huge part of the movie. All these camera rays, they kill you in one hit. Uh, this is probably the most important room uh, health-wise for the entire rest of the run. I want to get shot by zero of these guys. There's four of them. And they seem to randomly shoot me. Oh, this could be good. Nice, none of them shot me. So I hopefully you shouldn't have to take a death to refill health. Okay, falling in this pit is very bad. It takes you like all the way back to the beginning of the game. So I played it a little bit safe there. And this is the final, the final screen in the first stage. Obviously, we run around and collect these coins. Nickels and horses. Yes, nickels and horses. <laughs> You collect them all and you punch the painting, and that's how you beat this level. <laughs> now we're in some sort of subway, I guess. I'm gonna do another double jump right here. I got on the second try. That's usually pretty average. Most of the enemies you have to stun first uh, with the baseball. And then, uh, then you're free to punch them off the screen. All right, this sewer section is really easy to take a whole lot of damage in this <coughs> this section. If I get through here without getting hit, I should be pretty much good for the rest of the run. Hopefully, I pause there so that red ball doesn't hit me. I pause there because those oil drops do uh, a ton of damage. Also, those spears are instant kills. Get a little early cycle in that elevator right there. One of the slightly annoying things about going uh, down a screen, if there's a ladder there and you just jump down the hole, uh, he automatically grabs on to the ladder, even if you weren't even touching the ladder. So you need to grab onto the ladder, jump off down the hole, and then. You will, you will not grab uh, <coughs> the ladder on the way down. It's really stupid. Alright, these guys, these explosions kill you in one hit. If you get knocked off this wire, you have to do this whole screen again. Uh, this entire screen is just uh, zigzagging back and forth. Stunning. I, they're nuns? Are, are there nuns in the movie? I have no idea. Nuns with guns. Yeah, nuns with guns and nuns with cannons. Is that what's going on? Yeah, nuns with cannons and dropping bombs. So if you have any donations, you can feel free. All right. Uh, let's see here. We've got a hundred dollars from Anaga. Wonderful of you guys doing this stream for a good cause. Have fun, everybody. And we've got five dollars from Guardian Prinny. Five dollars to the awesome gentleman sitting in the chair by the camera playing his DS between games and enchanting Twitch chat with his grace. We'll donate another ten dollars if we give a shout out on stream to DS Dad. And two hundred and seven dollars and sixty-eight cents from Z Brannigan. For the low price of five dollars, you too can decide silly things like gold painted armor is better than blue painted armor, or a monster based on a Nautilus is better than one based on a horseshoe crab. We got like one or two more, you can keep going. All right, Brian Height with $10. Who's that guy reading donations? Donation goes to E-Mister's Choice. Thanks, Brian. All right, so that's the end of the second stage. <clears throat> Grabbed a book. I guess it's supposed to be Da Vinci's Codex. I'm sure the movie explains it. One of my favorite parts of the movie is coming up where Bruce Willis throws baseballs at a kangaroo. This is the prequel to Kangaroo Jack. 
So I did another double jump on uh, the very first screen at the very top of that ladder. Uh, to skip, you were supposed to go like all the way left and then zigzag all the way back right, but if you just do the double jump, uh, it takes you straight up to where you need to go. Nice, those platforming uh, sections are really annoying. There's guys with balloons and guns. And we're coming up. We only have. There's only a couple more screens in the whole game. <clears throat> oh yeah, get ready. It's Jimmy's favorite part. <laughs> uh, there's the kangaroo. And we fell. This part is really annoying because of the momentum. There we go. And we died. So we almost made it. If I would have been able to get that on my first try, uh, I probably would not have died. See, if you go without slowing down, you don't even have to wait for that kangaroo like that. <clears throat> There's a, there were invisible blocks there that appear when you step on them. All right, this is the second to last screen. You're supposed to do this block puzzle. You push that block all the way around the room, but if you just do a double jump right there, Skip the whole thing. This is the final room. There's no actual bosses in this game. And time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here we have the end story. That's what I just grabbed, apparently. The gold machine has been totally destroyed, together with the alchemy project. You may have saved the economic fate of the world. Not for sure. In 8 minutes and 19 seconds. Oh, that's not too bad. Not bad. And I got the high score. Nice. All right, yeah. that's it. That's Let's it. give it up for White Hat 90. <laughs> Let's give it up for White Hat 94 everybody. Right, thank you. Thank you, DS Dad. It's not a DS. <laughs>